All right, and we're on. Hello, everyone. Hi there. Uh, my name is Ernest Olufemi Olusoya from the Flourish Forever team, as well as the Dream Builders team. And uh, this is an introduction to the business opportunity. I believe at this point, you must have seen the business presentation. And that's why you have this video. And as you can see, it's the new FBO training. And you know the word FBO, all right, this, this word here, means forever business owner. And so as implied, if you're not a forever business owner, you're not the target audience. It means you need to see the business presentation first. Um, however, I should add that if you are an open-minded skeptic like I was when I started the business, um, this could also be for you. You might want to get more information on how the business works, how money is made, and how you can help a lot of people with this opportunity. So you could go ahead with us if it's fine with you. Um, but I would re repeat that my main audience, however, is um, a new forever business owner who wants to be highly successful in this business against all oppositions. And as we all know, to be successful in anything, you need to be trained, you need to be taught rightly, and you need to be ready to learn. So I would advise that from here on out, you have a paper or a jotter or something to write with because there's so much to learn. And um, this training is going to be for about, um, let's see, 30 to 45 minutes. It could be up to an hour depending on uh, the need. But let's pay close attention as we proceed. All right, so um, we're using the first steps to manager model um, created by, I believe, Jane Leach and her team, which is a power team. That's our team in UK. Um, and it's a beautiful tool to get acquainted with what the business is about and how to get started, how to get equipped to move all the way to manager position. And as we all know, um, I'm sure you must have heard at the business presentation, that the manager position is where freedom begins in this business. So everyone is working towards manager position. That's where you start earning uh, an income that could supplement, well supplement what you already earn or even be a complete replacement for what you earn. And um, So it's, it's amazing. And as you know, this is forever living. All right. So it's important that we know what forever's mission statement is. It's crucial we understand that. And Rex Mon, the chairman and CEO of the company, says we will create a profitable environment where individuals can, with dignity, be what they want to be. Where integrity, passion, um, sorry, empathy, and fun are guides, will create and cherish a passion for and belief in. Notice these three things. Our company, our products, and our industry. We know the company is forever. The products are, you know, amazing. You're going to hear about them very soon. And uh, the industry, we are in the network marketing industry as well as the wellness and um, health industry. You know, it's all about wellness, keeping people healthy and feeling better. We will seek knowledge and balance and above all, we'll be courageous as we lead our company and its forever business owners. That's Rex Morn. Right, let's go on. Why is forever the opportunity to take a look at well one of the things to look at is the fact that it's privately owned it's owned by Rex Morn it's a home based business um, he founded it several years ago about 38 years ago and it's been growing remarkably that's the founder he's I believe should be around 95 thereabout he's he's hale and hearty very strong still at the global rally that's the um, the trip that successful business owners enjoy every year, and he was, you know, so alive this April in South Africa. This is 2016, as you know. It was amazing. Um, cash rich and debt free. This is one thing to look out for in a company you decide to partner with. Are they rich and are they debt free? Do they owe any other companies? Uh, proudly, forever living owes no one. Uh, complex in Nigeria is bought and paid for and built by Forever Living cash rich and debt free. That's one thing to look at. And also, you know, if someone is 30 years old, 
you oh. consider the person to be an adult, someone who has gone through a lot of challenges already and is starting to grow into a full grown man or woman, as the case may be. So if a company is 38 years and above, you can be sure that it has gone through the teething period and it's um, going to stay for as long as it can. And you know, we have a global marketplace of over 150 countries and we have consumable products i must tell you that this is a very important part of this because um, our products are pride we have products in personal care we're talking of you know soap to gel uh, deodorant and a lot of stuff that you t- use to take care of yourself we have the skin care we have the weight management nutrition drinks sports and fitness energy domestic and home care you know the detergents and all the stuff Um, Cosmetics, for those of us who are ladies here and use powder and all the other beautiful things on the face. Um, We have animal care. Interestingly, we can take care of animals with the products we have. We have products for animals. And, you know, recently brought to Nigeria are the essential oils. uh, Very beautiful oils. And, you know, we have a wide range of products which are consumable. And, you know, the power of consumable products is repeat business. People are going to keep coming to get them you're going to want to use them often and that means repeat sales and repeat earnings all right and they offer unique equal opportunities so whatever you are whoever you are you can step in and be successful in this business um, this is a picture of one of the successful business owners that i know personally she uh, her name is Sholakwe and she uh, she found about the opportunity when she met someone at the gym and you know her life has changed for the better right now she this picture was taken in Greece and you know to get to Greece you must have earned a whole lot of money paid to you for qualifying for the incentive in the company and um, a lot of her stories there you know and then right here is a young man to the left his name is Shola who right now as we speak has qualified for two cars uh, quite, he bought two cars from the company uh, qualified for a car incentive. Uh, this picture was also taken in Greece this year. Uh, last, uh, that's this year. Yes, this year they just came back from Greece around September. Uh, went for one of the incentives, the Ego Manager incentive, and um, he also is in, what well, in it is also in the Millionaires Club. And I mean, this is a young man who left school a few years ago, and he's already been stable and. Uh, you know, so forever gives equal opportunities and forever says that your future is safe with them. Why do they say this? It's no surprise. I mean, on capped income, this is the only opportunity you see around the world where you can decide how much you want to earn based on your effort. You know, you can't go to your boss tomorrow and say, sir, I worked double um, hard this month. I need you to raise my salary. It doesn't happen. If you know a boss that does that, please let me know. But in this opportunity, this business we have here, there's an uncapped income. You also have global income to earn from all the 150 plus countries all over the world. Um, Forever to drive car incentive. That's the forever to drive incentive where you get to qualify for a new car every three years. Global travel. You get to travel with the company all over the world whenever they have to go. Um, Chairman's bonus. You know, the icing on the cake. After you've earned your... um, bonuses every month for 12 months they give you an extra one uh, we call it interestingly um, the 13th Mm. month salary because I mean it's an addition to what you've earned and it can go all the way from just a couple of thousand of dollars maybe like three thousand dollars all the way to a million dollars and you know we have people collecting checks of big sizes like a million dollars all the way down to $3,000 $3,000 as a way of appreciating you for the hard work done. And you know, this business gives you personal development. Uh, for me, personal development is so crucial. So, so, so crucial. And um, I think everyone should want this. This is a business where you can learn and earn at the same time. As you learn, you earn more. As you earn, you keep learning. And it's, it's a legacy style business. You can wheel this business over to your children. And they can continue from where you stopped. So 
imagine you have become say a a diamond manager which you get to understand very soon you can hand over your child to uh, the business to your child and you know a diamond manager should be earning well over six million i don't know that's very conservative well over six million thereabout um you you, you give your child <laughs> that kind of business he starts earning from that amount i mean he's financially free uh, that's that's so amazing so you, that's the opportunity you get your benefits are a lifestyle without compromise financial freedom no more debts financial security time freedom and choices you make choices and you know there's something called the id for those of you who have been to a university you know something called the matriculation number exactly in this business you have something called an id to number that distinguishes you from others and it's a license to trade all around the globe it's an asset for you and generations to come uh, so you'll have your choices when you come to forever we ask a simple question why that's a big question why are you in this business because if you don't know the reason of a thing abuse is inevitable um, said the wise man you need to know why you're in forever consider what you want to achieve in a few months consider what you want to achieve in several years from now and um, you know let's look at an example what are you prepared to work for if it's three months this is an example of someone in the UK who wants to earn about you know right here at the left a short-term goal of 1,000 pounds a month that's that's amazing um, that's we're looking at that 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 looks like uh, if I'm correct is that um that's about 500,000 naira they're about uh, she wants to quit her job, spend more time with her children, you know, a lot of stuff. So you need to know why you are in forever, why you want to do it. If you're doing it part-time, why? what do you want to achieve? If you're doing it full-time, what do you want to achieve in the next three to nine months? You know, longer-term goals, you want to drive a Porsche, you want to stay debt-free, you want to ex- uh, further your education. I mean, you want to take your family to Disney in, in California or in Paris. You want to pay your uni fees, university fees, many things you want to do in two to five years. Because, you know, if you touch your business effectively every day, within uh, a year or two, you should be achieving a lot of your goals. A lot of the goals that before now yet, um, before now would have been abandoned because, you know, your salary or what you already have cannot um, cannot handle those goals so you, you just wash them away and think they're not possible anymore but you know with forever you can dream again you can you can make those dreams those things you have personally desired to have come to pass through hard work and diligence and uh, you know it's a work list not a wish list so you, you must be ready to work for those things and you know you can never fail in forever as long as you are consistent in your daily business building if you're doing all the things you're going to learn in this um, training, you can be sure you're not going to fail. If you don't do everything you're told, um, you're, it's up to you. Um, the results. All right. So there's some a bit of jargons that we need to clarify for us to go forward. There's something called case credits, and um, case credits are simply points. All right. Every product from the company um, has a point value, a point system of measurement. And we use the point system as an internal currency because we're in several countries and we want to be consistent all over the world. So each case credit point um, has its corresponding currency value, maybe the naira or the, the pound or the dollar. And so we use the unified system of measurement which is case credits and that's how we uh, we track our movement in the business all right so um sorry for that all right so one cc all right so a case credit like i said is forever's internal company currency and um we have the different points. So the aloe vera gel, the bottle, the yellow bottle you see there, has a case credit value of 0.091. The bottle adjacent to that is 
it's forever freedom and you know each product has its selling point there's something amazing about each of them and you see that box behind them that's a box containing products worth two case credits which has you know its corresponding amount in uh, different currencies if it's in pound we're talking about one 198 pounds if i'm correct if we are in talking about naira that box is already discounted it's about 117,000 there about so you have all these products added up to form two case credits and that's that's what it looks like so case credits are very crucial you need to understand them and in this business we please take note of this we emphasize that you understand how to do something called four case credits four case credits I'm circling it right now it's a business building discipline if you want to be successful in this business if you want to be a manager quickly if you want to start getting the incentives you want to you know you want to qualify to travel around the world you want to have that big income you need to master the four case credit habit and teach your team members to do the same what how do you do this the three three things you just do all right first of all as you see there personal use you explore the whole range you use the toothpaste you use the the aloe lips use the deodorant you use the shampoo and conditioner you use the soap you know change your brand that's what we're saying change your brand stop using what you already use and start using the one the company provides and as you do that you also make cre case credit points because once you buy anything from the company the value the case credit value of that product is added to you as well as the case credit points of anyone else that you have introduced to the business anyone who you tell to buy products from the company you also get their case credit points as well so first thing to do is personal use second retail why do we have a retail business because we want to um, share the benefits of the products with people around us friends family and um, you know people we meet because these products are amazing they have a lot of benefits in the kind of world we live in today with pollution with a lot of you know things that can cause damage to our health we have this natural alternatives we have these these um products that are very very salubrious um, that word is a big word for healthy all right so the company says have about 20 plus customers buying a few things from you probably one product or two products from you every month if you have about 15 to 20 customers you are doing fine and you know uh, 20 to 50 20 customers doing about um, 5,000 per month that's about 100,000 that's comfortably two case credits thereabouts you know and that's amazing if you can do uh, for yourself you use about maybe uh, the, you take the aloe vera gel you take the toothpaste you take the soap you use some of the other things you explore the range of about maybe 0 0.5 all the way to one case credit that's case credit points um you've done the first part of your four case credits all right that's one that's personal use and then you retail about one case credit to two case credits um you already have about three case credits down or probably even two between one and two and, and and then the third thing you can do or you should do actually you must do is to recruit because when you recruit and you let people join the business to also build their own businesses you also get their case credit points for buying products and and um, you know you you must recruit them to become assistant supervisors you'll understand that very soon but an assistant supervisor is simply someone who has made the financial commitment of picking up a pack of products worth two case credits it's that simple so if you have for example someone who picks up a box of two case credits and that person joins you you know you show the opportunity the person is interested and picks up a box of two case credit worth of products that person becomes an assistant supervisor and those two case credits count for you so let's look again at this and give a typical example of how four case credits can be done remember four case credits is the minimum requirement you can do more okay you should even 
aim to do more because the more you do the more points you have and the faster you qualify for the different positions on the marketing plan okay so let's assume i'm going to write on the screen right now the blue pen let's look at the how um for the first one personal use let's say you do about zero um sorry for the writing i hope it's clear 0 0.5 case credits all right and um for retail you do about you, you sell products to your friends share the benefits with them of about one case credit um what do you think you should have left to do it to do for case credits so already we have 1.5 all right so you if you sponsor just one person um you are now having just uh, because one person joins you that's two case credits all right so two plus one right here that's three and three point five you're not all the way there so you may have to retail more or better still which i would advise recruit another person so if you have two case credits from one and then you have another assistant supervisor that month what do you have you have four already done here you've done your own retail business of one and then a point five value for yourself and we're looking at a total of 5.5 case credits that's a beautiful way to start if you have a business of 5.5 case credits you're good and you've already gone past the four case credit minimum mark and you know it's a business building discipline so you need to learn it now for the assistant supervisor it might not be so um, um, it may not be a problem to miss it it may not be a big issue when you don't do your four case credits um, you still get paid but you know as you go in the business because you are building something solid and you have to lead from the front you might have you have to do your four case credits i i don't miss my four case credits any month from now and because that's why i and and because of that i enjoy something called the team leading bonus which you'll get to understand really soon all right so that's that let's go on i hope you understand this i'll probably get questions and then probably do another video later on if there are questions not answered but i think this is clear personal use retail and recruiting so um i, I so something came up uh, to my mind right now i think i should talk about that when you recruit two people you get four case credits right yeah some of you are thinking oh that's easy just bring two people to do what i just did to become an assistant supervisor and i'm good i've done my four case credits not really you know the the company would want to be sure that you are doing this and this and so apart from doing four case credits of just uh of just bringing people into the business the company would want you to do at least one um of a combination of these two do you understand that so you must do at least one maybe you divide it evenly 0 0.5 for personal use 0 0.5 for retail recruits but you could do a lot more and i advise you do a lot more all right so let's go on we should understand this by now if you master the 4cc habit and teach your team to master the 4cc habit anything on the marketing plan is possible anything and the marketing plan the marketing plan is so beautiful i mean it was well um thought of it was well arranged well planned thanks to rex Mon, we have a beautiful plan so in a few minutes from now we're going to be looking at the marketing plan um, we need to understand the potential of the marketing plan we have so i'm going to tell you some things to notice uh, basically the marketing plan is just big grammar for how you get paid in the company how does the company reward you for being there you know everything their sales manager the advertisements their uh, middlemen you, you're doing everything that the company would have paid for and they pay you for doing that you know because personal recommendation is by far the best kind of recommendation there is people hardly look at adverts on tv anymore to decide what they use they just want to use what their friends are using and you know it's the best model to move products from a company and you know you get paid for doing that um things you already do but 
you weren't paid for before now you get paid for doing it in a systematic manner as uh, is recommended by forever living beautiful so let's look at the marketing plan all bonuses are paid on retail um, that's excluding the, the, the value added tax ta tax yeah tax okay um all bonuses are based on retail that means if you're going to be paid by the company they don't pay you on the cost price of the product or there's an, another price which is 75 percent of the cost price they pay you on the retail price that means the suggested retail price of the company the company tells you to sell it at a certain amount you buy it at a lower amount a discounted price and you still get paid a percentage on the retail price that's so amazing so you get to earn more the highest percentages no one can bypass your marketing plan uh, if you are building towards manager everyone in your team the effort counts for you all right so no one bypasses you on the marketing plan uh, unless you know I guess a point where you become a manager and because this is not a pyramid scheme you can earn a lot more than your, the person who is above you in the marketing plan all right you cannot bypass every point you get on your way to manager counts for you any point your team makes uh, case credit points your team makes before you become a manager they all count for you and so no one bypasses you on the marketing plan uh, global opportunity you can earn from different countries on capped income as we saw before positions are permanent unlike some other um, companies where you can lose your position due to inactivity in this business in this company you don't lose your position it's permanent for life and you can only increase it you can't reduce it your income and promotion is dependent on you and your activity you cannot be fired you cannot be made redundant here um, instead you can fire your own boss from work in this kind of business you know when you are tired of working for someone helping to build his own dream um, and you're ready to start building yours and helping others to do the same um, you can decide to fire your boss <laughs> just just a joke but I, it's it's quite real I'm jokingly serious okay let's look at the marketing plan this is where everything happens so let's pay attention quickly here I'll go through this and um, you should get what this is so you know there are some key positions we need to note this page you're seeing here is a brief of um, what it takes to become manager all right so i want us to focus on this part of the screen all right to move to any point on the marketing plan any level on the marketing plan you need to generate a total number of case credit points within some months and, and specifically two consecutive months all right so let's just look at this we're going to go through this quickly and then we'll start seeing what the money looks like at every point on the marketing plan at the top left corner you have something called new forever business owner which is probably who you are you watching this video right now you signed up or you you're probably even an assistant supervisor meaning you left the forever business owner position where you just get 15 percent discount because you signed up on a form to where you now get 30 percent plus an extra five percent personal bonus on personal use and retail so when you're a forever business owner which is also called a, a new novus customer you get just 15 percent discount on anything you buy from the company but as an assistant supervisor and to get to assistant supervisor we know already that you need to get two case credits right and that's in naira about 117,000. if you're buying the box it could be a little higher if you're selecting products uh, but that's that's if you're selecting the products to make up that two case credit by yourself it may be a little bit higher than that 117,000 naira but that's what you're going to use to start up to become an assistant supervisor and from there on you begin to work with your team to do you know product launches your team is going to help you out to know your leader the one you invited into the business is going to plan with you on how to you know make best use of that capital that capital can be got back within um, a, a month 
it could even be got back in a week you could get everything back if you work closely with your leader with all the tools we have available in flourish forever and the dream builders team all right so when you become an assistant supervisor which is gathering 2 case credits you start working straight away to the supervisor position and what do you get at the supervisor position oh a lot of stuff that's where something called the team leading bonus kicks in and to be an assist uh, to be a supervisor you need 25 case credits over the space of two consecutive months okay so what you do for example to be a supervisor is as an assistant supervisor you do your own four case credits personal which could which you could do by recruiting all right recruiting two people and then doing a personal one which makes it five total or you recruit one person which is two case credits and then you sell or retail or use personally a combination of all that to generate two case credits and so you have your complete four case credits if you do that for example and then you teach three others to do exactly the same thing you have done you're on your way to being a supervisor how for example let's look at you here um you this nice guy over here you bring in three people into the business you have a team of three people who are also enthusiastic as you are about the business and you teach them each to do their four case credits you have done four all right and then you have this one doing four you have this one doing four you have this one doing four how many would you have in that month definitely you have 16 so if you have 16 case credits in month one how many case credits would you need in month two to become a supervisor um, if you said nine you're very correct because 16 plus 9 those two consecutive months give you gives you 25 you know many of us in this team don't even waste that much time to be supervisors we we try doing that in one month which is very possible just means you need to be ready to work and you know recruit more people you know the secret in this business is the more people you can recruit and duplicate the faster you reach manager all right so the assistant manager you need 75 case credits over two consecutive months and the manager position you need 120 case credits over the over two consecutive months and you, you don't need to be afraid because you know what does 75 case credit for assistant manager mean it means you're working with three people in your team to become supervisors it's that simple if five people become supervisors if three people become supervisors uh, that means we're looking at 25 times 3 that's 75 and you're already an assistant manager for the manager position you need 120 case credit so someone you just work with to be a supervisor you work with all your team members to become assistant manager the next month and you might as well already become a manager so the the faster you do this the easier it is to become a manager and the quicker it would be <coughs> all right so all right so let's let's proceed now um, let's break each of them down so you get you start to see the any potential i've taken time to convert the the amounts to naira so you can start to see what it looks like so as i said before an assistant supervisor is the one who has done two case credits and he now has a 35 percent discount 30 which is general for everyone who is from assistant supervisor and above and an extra five percent bonus personal bonus added on uh, you know you'll be using personally and you'll be retailing so obviously they're going to give you five percent extra discount that's amazing so you have a total of 35 percent now let's look at that in real monetary terms the aloe vera gel um a, a wholesale price is about four thousand six hundred the retail price is about six thousand five hundred there about so from selling that at the retail price and you um at the hotel wholesale price you should be making profits of very close to two thousand on each bottle you sell isn't that amazing so you can see the profit potential for the aloe vera gel we also have the c9 box that's the weight management pack the fit pack um it's the first nine days of a full 69 day weight management program uh, it's really amazing the wholesale price is about twenty two thousand nine hundred. 
the retail price is 32,800 you're making about 9,800 profit I mean on just that I, I know personally because um, I make I make right now I make about 12,000 uh, profits and that's, that's really amazing I make about that amount on each C9 I sell um, uh, retail and help to use the product we also have another amazing product RG plus you know these are just examples to see the retail potential the, the kind of profit you get from retailing alone the wholesale price is 13 thousand nine hundred that's about fourteen thousand the retail price is twenty thousand and you see the profit is about six thousand naira so um what happens if you retail a total of one cc for you know the alvaragel like i told you earlier is about 0 0.091 cc and the c9 pack that box right there down there the fit pack is um 0 0.465 case credits you see it has more points and so hence the 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 profit the higher profit margin so if you if you end up retailing products um worth one case credit you could be making about twenty one thousand naira profit this is extra profit and another thing that comes with being a senior supervisor is that for every person that comes into the business that you help to become an assistant supervisor meaning anyone who starts the business with two case credits you earn 26,369 naira that's 20% of the retail price of the products the person has bought that's what the company pays to you so look at an example example one you retail two case credits and then you recruit four people you could be looking at about 147,000 naira 900 52 uh, that that's that's beautiful if it's an extra income that's I'm sure that's very beautiful if it's a full income I mean how many people are ending up to that in a month so it's it's already a good place to earn a lot if you are serious about building your business you know you can also retail four case credits and that's that's an amazing feat you can actually do that we're, we're doing a challenge right now at this time this particular month to retail four case credits and I'm about meeting that target so it's really possible if you know how to go about it recruiting three people uh, you're making about 82,000 because on each person is about 26 and total they are making is 166,000 you know these are these are superhero figures and at the same time they are basic figures that anyone can make if you follow the principles learned in this uh, taught in this um, training the su supervisor position is the next position that comes on and that is um 38 percent discount is what you start to gain you know you notice that the five percent has now moved up to eight percent and um the retail bonus is higher the retail profit is higher it's now about 26 which is close to what you were getting when you recruited someone as an assistant supervisor but now as a supervisor you're making 31,000 naira isn't that amazing it increases because now you're getting not just 20 percent of what the person bought but about um, what's 15 plus 18 and uh, 15 plus 8 that's about 33 percent you're not making you're not making 30 sorry am i right about that 15 plus 5 15 plus oh sorry 23 percent all right 23 percent on whatever the person buys which makes it move up all the way to 31,000 naira for every now at this point you know something amazing like i said earlier something amazing kicks in you now have this extra three percent and now you start earning from your team members team so you brought someone into your team the person brings another person into his team because you're a supervisor now you start earning a team leading bonus on everybody in your team and you know uh, technically it will be called your downline i mean all the people you have brought into the business who have also brought people who have also brought people who are using the products all right so you start getting three percent and three percent because you are getting eight percent discount added to your 30 and the assistant supervisor who you brought into your business is getting 35 percent that's five percent so the team leading bonus is the difference between the eight percent you're getting as a supervisor right 
and the five percent one gets as an assistant supervisor so eight minus five gives you three all right so this can increase as you grow from supervisor to higher positions so look at an example you recruit um, two case credit you retail sorry you retail two case credits that's about forty six thousand nine hundred and forty eight you recruit three people you have about ninety four thousand now you you now start getting the team leading bonus from assistant supervisors who are doing their four cc if they're doing less than that you still get your percentages okay but you know you're building your team to do four case credits you're teaching your team to do four case credits at least a month so if three of them are doing that effortlessly you are getting 45,000 naira on just three people doing their four case credits so you, you can imagine your income I, I, I'm at this position right now supervisor so I, I can see that these figures are very very realistic I mean uh, 186 is a good amount a supervisor should be earning all right let's go on assistant manager you have 43 percent and I'm sure you can start to figure out that the the retail profit increases the recruiting bonus increases um, other people in your team the team leading bonus you start to get eight percent and five percent all right why are you getting eight percent and five percent as an assistant manager for every assistant supervisor you get the difference between 13 and five percent that's eight percent right here so you get 8% on every assistant supervisor, 5% on every supervisor, and um, yeah, that's what that's what you get, 8 and 5. So you can start to in, you start to earn a lot more because more percentages are coming in. You're earning from different lines, all right. So an example, a typical example, you retail two case credits, and you recruit two people. That's a very good um, four case credit activity on your part. One person who does one assistant supervisor who does 4cc you get about 29,000 from that person two supervisors who do four case credits you're getting about 90,000 that's that's really amazing 90,000 from from them so your total income for the month could be anything from 200,000 and above uh, would that ex would that amount do something to you it should it should now the manager position which is where everyone is working towards like i said um, 120 case credits over the space of two consecutive months and realize that you've been building you've been building so getting 120 case credits is no longer a problem because everyone in your team is also building to become manager all right so it's just by working with all your team members to be successful that you yourself will be successful and so at this point you get 30 percent you get 18 added percent which is um, 48 percent discount and you, you can imagine what that kind of discount is to you you're, you're practically buying products now almost half the price from for the from the company and so you're spending less on your own personal use and retail you're making higher profits on your retail in fact the highest profits you will ever make on retail and for every new person you bring in you get the whooping sum of 45,000 naira which is about 33 percent of whatever the person has purchased at the retail price that's amazing and then for every assistant supervisor on your team that does force case credits you see you're getting 13 percent on every assistant supervisor that's about 35,000 for someone who does four case credits for every supervisor who you know supervisor should be doing comfortably about 15 case credits already let's just give an example then and the supervisor level and they've done 15 case credits that month you'll be getting about 102,000 naira from them and you know that's that 10 percent leading bonus you see here you're getting 13 you're getting 10 you're getting 5 i mean that's amazing and so you can see this perfect example this is a leader from the front retailing two case credits and recruiting two people so he's already done personally by himself he has done six case credits He's a good leader he has three assistant supervisors doing four case credits he's getting this amount he has two assistant supervisors sorry he has two supervisors doing 15 cc as a group you know they they they, they um it's you're paid um on the group work of the team that's about two hundred and five thousand naira 
one assistant manager doing 4 cc and 45 cc you're getting about 153,951 so your total income that month should come around 500,000 i mean that's just amazing if you're doing this part-time that's an amazing part-time income if you're doing this full-time that's an amazing full-time income so think about what an extra 5,000 naira a month could mean to you how many of your goals would you be able to achieve by having a manager business and so so we recommend that everyone works towards manager and truly there are different ways to get to manager but um you know that's not where the story ends once you become a manager your fight for case credits within the space of two months to move up ends i mean you're a manager now so it's not case credits for two months you're looking for it's developing managers so the more managers you have you know the higher the level you start to move to and so we have positions like senior manager that happens when you personally build two managers under you in your team that you have personally sponsored so i brought in two people ade and um, busayo and ade and busayo i trained them they go through to supervisor I have other people I'm working with, but Ade and Busai, I'm working with them to become manager. Once I become a manager and I make sure that both of them become managers, I immediately become a senior manager because I have two people. And you know, we're looking at an income potentially 9 million naira per month, per annum, sorry. 9 million naira per annum. And that's beautiful. Um, you know, and then you, you go on to soaring manager that's having about 5 directly sponsored managers can be getting income um, typically of about 14 million per annum per year and you have sapphire when you reach sapphire manager position which means you've di directly sponsored nine managers you've trained nine people to become managers i mean not, not just nine managers in all of your team i mean nine personally sponsored managers your income can typically become about 24 million naira per year and you know this is amazing because there's a plus one percent that kicks in and that plus one percent oh my god it could really take everything up over it could even go up by a million naira um, there are testimonies of people who hit sapphire manager position and their income rises about a million naira it moves sometimes it can move um up to more than two million naira i mean move up by two million naira so you can imagine what that looks like and you know after sapphire manager we have diamond sapphire which is 17 managers diamond manager which is 25 managers and you know we have double diamond the leader of our team is a double diamond manager um, she has over 50 personally sponsored managers then there's triple diamond and you know some of us in this team are going to break some of those records there hasn't been a triple diamond manager yet and you know if you are very hard working you can actually become that before many other people who have been in the business so long um, just a thought all right and you know as a manager and a manager who is building other managers you start getting all these incentives forever to drive becomes a non-issue global travel i mean chairman's bonus where you start collecting those big checks those can be yours all right so let's break it down further what we know is that we should be four case credits active and we now know that to be four case credits active you need to use the product personally you need to have people you're retailing to okay few people buying few things or a lot of people buying few things rather and um, you know you need to bring people in you need to sponsor new people into your business so let's look at the retailing aspect how do we retail well forever living does not recommend that you hawk products okay we don't do that we systematically share this product with friends family with models with different models we have we have something called the product launch or business launch where you invite friends and family to an event center or a home and you tell people about the products the benefits of the product and you share the business opportunity with them and you know some people there will join you they'll join your team because they want to get some extra income and you get some other people buying products and you know that's a beautiful way to get back some of your capital invested and this is also a way to keep getting customers to keep getting people who are 
buying products from you on retail okay and um, you can also have an online launch where you share the business and the products over the internet using maybe skype and you could do the c9 you know do it yourself do the weight management program yourself share with everyone you expose it you expose those who are using your c9 to a wider range of products let them know that there are other products and you can do PUPPS, that's, those are pop boxes, pops. Um, you you can personally dis design your own presentation. Uh, put some of the products in something like a bag or a basket, like a hamper. Take it to them, show them the benefits, and you know you, you could start having repeat orders. All right. So that's those are some of the tips for retailing. You know, there you you can be really creative about it. You could do um, skincare nights, call all your girlfriends. I'm talking to girls now, and you could do this um, skincare thing where you guys try out some of the products and you share the benefits with them. People start using them. You could have a cosmetic night out. You could have for for guys. You could go to the gym and recommend some of the sports and fitness products. You can, you know, there are so many ways. You just need to be creative. Just try to ensure that you are getting few people. I'm um, sorry, a lot of people buying a few things from you. It's that simple. Now, it's all about the sponsoring. And, um, you know, in sponsoring, we follow a very simple model. And I'm going to explain this in a short period of time. This is how we do it. It's the cycle. It's called the forever business building cycle. This is where you need to take notes. What we have here, we have who do you know, which is up. To the right, we have contact and show. Right down there, we have business presentation, and to the left, we have action. All right, if you keep going through this cycle consistently, I can assure you that you're going to be really, really successful because this is basically what we do. Okay, why do we use the forever business cycle? Because number one, we need to learn the skills relevant to business building. This is a new kind of business, this is a different kind of business, so you need to learn the skills involved in building this kind of business it's a relationship kind of business so you need to know what to say how to say it and um, how to be effective you know to create and manage duplication locally and globally so you can have someone all the way in dubai or in russia who happens to be in your team and you know you give this person the same cycle and you teach them how to follow this simple consistent method of building a team and you're good you know duplication is what you need in this business what you do, you need others to be able to do it, and even more, all right? Um, also, you need to be able to show your prospect what is possible. And that's what that can help with. All right, so let's take a closer look. The first part is who do you know? And so we recommend, we don't just recommend, we insist that if you want to build a big business, you need to have something called the who do you know? list and that list should contain names between 300 to 1000 names that you know from the top of your head and that you have known or you've met somewhere or you have on your contact list you need to write them down okay it's a it's really important you do this have a list of friends have a list of colleagues have a list of people who you know from the top of your head and notice it's not a who do you think would be interested list it's not. It's a who do you know list. So don't prejudge. Don't think, oh, this person is not going to join my business. This person is not going to buy products. Why don't you just go ahead and recommend it to them first and see their response? Don't prejudge. All right? You can get names of people from Facebook, LinkedIn, social media generally, locally, nationally, and globally. You know, these are some ways you could you know, quicken your memory um, on the kind of people you've met where you can get those 300 to 1000 names you know okay so once you have that list what's the next thing to do the next thing to do is to contact them you see how simple it is have a list of people contact them how do you contact them the first thing to do a skill is called profiling you need to have a snapshot insight into your consumer your customer or your prospect you need to know what they are what they do their profession what their family looks like all right 
the what they do for recreation just basic things about them and why you or what platform you would like to share the business opportunity with so who are the first people you're excited about sharing the business with one of those profiles that you create could actually become your next manager so don't take this part of the business lightly once you have a list you start profiling them writing a little about them writing their phone number their address you know on a piece of paper the occupation their age um, there's something called the hot button what you might be able to get them to uh, take a look at the business opportunity it could be that they like um, their interest they are ambitious and they want more money that could be a hot button and you know forever provides that if they're ready to work for it um, it could be fitness someone may just want to be fit you know it's a, he's a fitness instructor by profession and so he's all about fitness so you know you can present the products that could help with that so you need to have a profile list of people and know exactly how you deal with them and you know of course as you have a list spanning 300 to 1000 you really wouldn't run out of names if you're doing the right thing okay so you need to know your objective also with them do you want to meet them one-on-one -on -one? do you want to use a video or website or product what do you want to do with them what approach what's your approach are you going to give a phone call a text uh, messenger or are you going to see them face to face these things are very important to know so that's what you do okay um, if it's a customer you need to know your approach it's, it could be to invite for a product launch it could be one-to-one -one meeting whatever it is uh, all right so that's what you do you profile your first 20 15 to 20 people and um, get to work now the next thing to do is to contact them right you have a list you profile them the next thing to do is to contact them and you know based on what you've written on their profile sheets you'll be able to know what to start with when you talk to them all right so you make a phone call personality character use information listed in their profiles okay you can work with their hot buttons and you you begin to say things like let me give you an example of um a practical reach um you could use your background your story um this is an example of someone she says you know i i run a my own child care business which is very successful but the income is good however the hours are very long and it's really stressful so much paperwork red tape i was looking for a better way and then the solution you know through a friend i came across a dynamic global brand which offers not only much greater potential but also time flexibility and the option to travel with them and you go ahead and ask and would you be willing to know more about this you could use your story um if you don't have a story that's not a problem you can always use something called the initial contact system where you you know keep it simple it's an invitation you're not telling them about the business you're basically inviting them to take a look at the business opportunity using their hot button their character something you know about them or you could use the business approach and these are things i'll talk extensively on on another training this is just an introduction to what you're supposed to do all right um you send a text you could send a facebook message be original when you do this okay don't copy and paste someone's um, message don't do that all right so um next thing to note is you know you you need to make contact uh, as you make contact um you get some questions okay you need to know how to respond to them some people are gonna respond to you like is it selling is it a pyramid scheme i haven't got the time i don't think i want to do this is it one of all these things and you know, when you get those responses sometimes you could be put off balance and at this moment what you should learn to do is to give the right answers um at this moment you may not be very good at giving the right responses so i will ask that you work with your upline the person who introduced you to this business and he or she will teach you because she has learned a lot from this team how to handle objections how to answer these questions i don't want to dwell on that because there's little or no time left so there's some basic responses you get used to them and um, you should be ready to go once you have them giving a positive response that they want to see the business they would like to take a look or they will be willing to attend a seminar or something like that you add them to something called the activity tracker this is where you're able to track their progress in the business and to be sure uh, you know when you're meeting with them 
when they register and your first planning meeting with them just like what this training is all about um if they say yes add them to your activity tracker if they say no don't give up on them you know just uh, offer them a product at least they could buy one product from you it's not a bad idea um you could also put them forward for the next two to four months um, and get back to them find out if they are interested again in taking a look at the opportunity another time so it's 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 a win-win situation if they don't join the business they will use your products if they join your business they will definitely still be using your products i mean so it's a win-win situation um if they say they want to take a look at it obviously you could send them a video uh, you can invite them for a training you could add them up for the webinar that's to show you could do a one-on-one -on -one with them where you you know you meet up for coffee and then you break down the business to them you share the benefits you know that is also really effective if you know how to explain the business but for now you can't so if you have to do one-on-one -on -one, go with your upline go with the person who brought you into the business he will he or she will definitely help you it's a team business so if you you know if you are doing this business part-time you just need to have about 20 people listed in the activity track i mean t 20 people at every time every one time saying they want to take a look at the business that's all if you have that number of people you will definitely be successful if you're a full-time person you know you should have about 30 people listed in your activity tracker that you're following up with um, you know you have their number you have the details you have when they want to watch the video you have when they have watched the business presentation you you record when they register and when you're going to have your first planning meeting once you get to that last part and write your comments you're done with that person it means the person is in your team and you must be doing this same training with them showing them what to do what is expected of them all right so let's move on the next thing is the business presentation and uh, the business presentation there's nothing much to say about that all right um, basically invite them for a business presentation once they've said yes to the business opportunity they've taken a look and they want to know more the next thing to do is always to invite them to a business presentation a formal business presentation and you know in lagos here we have a formal business presentation every wednesday we have two sessions 10 and 12 all right and um, those are good avenues to bring people to see the business opportunity you might as well contact them and just invite them straight away for the business presentation that would be awesome they also get to see the business that way and you can also introduce your guests to leading meeting leaders and um, uh, successful forever business owners because you know that's one of the benefits of bringing them to a business presentation they can get to see all the other successful people and they get motivated to start and um, they begin work now very important after they've seen the business presentation these are the kind of questions to ask which bit did you like the most all right not what did you think about it what did you like the most um, what do you like about this you need to be very positive in your response um, you can also go with this response okay so what you've seen you can now see that by working with me now you can achieve and then you you talk about the hot button you know you could achieve freedom from your workplace working with me you can achieve um, that brand new car you've always been planning to get you can get it free by working with me so you you you, you go to the hot button and give a response based on that so it's actually simple if you follow this model you're about to be very 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 successful all right the next thing is action you need to act i cannot overemphasize this all these things we are saying right now this training is useless if you do nothing with it so you you must plan what you need to do in the next seven days you need to write it down monday i'm speaking to mike jones ben smith claire rogers uh, that's what we see on this list tomorrow on tuesday i'm speaking to this 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 you need to be very organized have the number of people you are going to be um speaking to about the business that week have it listed have be really organized you also need to write down some other activities you can book for product launches you can 
connect people to the team webinars you could buy some trial boxes or whatever it is you know you could add a book you want to read about the business just make sure you're really organized you set your goals you create a to-do list of things you want to do and you act immediately so you book your lunches do your invites you register on the company's website a lot of stuff so in conclusion all right i'm getting to the tail end of this training uh, it's overshot the one hour mark but i believe this is very valuable so we should be rounding up right now this is a manager developing business and why is that because you you get um maximum personal bonuses maximum team leading team building bonuses um, access to the company incentives forever to drive travel chairman's bonus you can build a royalty style income i mean you can have an income that royalty has you you know once you've achieved the position of manager you can never lose it so it's a manager building business and you know there are different ways to get a manager um these are just a few examples you could do your manager business you could become a manager in two months three months four months but you know we see this happen often you this is what you'll be training some of your team members to do and so you need to understand the how it works so um the five month plan you have the six month plan you have the seven month plan and we have the <laughs> hundred month plan um you know everybody has their own race to manager but i would that rec i was re i would really recommend that when there is enthusiasm there's passion you try to do it in the shortest time possible all right so what's the uh, let's look at the six month plan just for an idea in the six month plan um the first month you should be doing about five case credits yourself so if you join the business you do your two case credits next thing to do is to sponsor all right you can sponsor two people um by sponsoring two people you now have about six case credits which makes you very active i mean you've done your two case credits by buying your own products and then you've sponsored two people that's six well uh, if you sponsor one person uh, that's four then you can retail you know there are different ways to do this you can do as well as 8 cc if you're very devoted your personal use could be like one case credit your repeat customer could be about one cc or 0 0.5 people that buy it consistently your retail business of people you are newly selling to if you have to uh, in the early stage of your business should be between two to three case credits and you know when you add them all up you should be having about four to eight case credits and that's a good way to start your manager plan so if you have five case credits the next month next month you should be working for you know far above that and this is what it looks like you do five case credits and you teach someone in your team to do five case credits it can never it has never been that simple you know you're just duplicating yourself someone else is doing what you're doing um someone in that person's team is doing what you are doing and um, you have different lines doing the same thing so you can start to imagine the potential between the first month and the second month in its five month plan you are not even a supervisor so i really don't recommend this plan at all i would rather go for the five month plan all right um seems i can't go back but um, that that's what it looks like i'll prefer you go for a quicker plan where you know your first month you're you're targeting about 25 case credits to be a supervisor and then the next month you're targeting your manager and you probably even just fall into your assistant uh, manager with maybe about 50 case credits you, you now have your 75 case credits you know that that 50 case credit that month of 50 case credits um with an extra 70 case credits the next month you can become a manager it's it's that simple and jane leach a diamond manager leader of our team in the uk said everyone's journey to manager is personal it doesn't matter if it's two months seven months or longer what matters is that you're working your plan so you know personally decide what you want to achieve and how fast you want to achieve it in the many ways like she said structure your activity depending on your time and commitment so if you have a lot of commitment you have another job that's taking your time that's all right you can spread this manager journey to seven months even eight months but if you need a quick response you need a quick 
um, um, get, you want to start gaining more from this business quickly, um, you need to give your best into it. You do. There's really no perfect way. What matters is putting yourself to the task. And uh, you know, as we close, Richard Branson said something really amazing. He said, if somebody offers you an amazing opportunity, but you are not sure you can do it, say yes, and then learn how to do it later. I mean, it couldn't be better said. I am a real example of that. A lot of things I know how to do now, it's because I said yes, and then I learned how to do them later. So Richard Branson, you're right, once again. And by the way, Richard Branson is one of the most successful entrepreneurs in the world as we speak. Um, so we learn from the best. Right now, I'd like you to take down this link. Um, you could write it down. HTTPS dot uh, the colon forward slash forward slash GOO dot GL slash small h capital S capital K small o small n and 7. And why I'm telling you to take this down is because this is a Google Drive link that has these four different materials. We have the first steps manager. This slide I just went through is actually in PDF form in in the form of first steps to manager right here this one. So you might as well just download that. We have the product brochure. You see all the products that we have and you know some more just arrived so you might not see all of them. You might you should see all of them so far. And that's the product brochure. Uh, the company policy, very important that you have the company policy because you need to understand some terms, you need to understand how to move and the business, some things that um, one would need to know about the company. And then the business brochure, very, very important because I know you tend to face a lot of obstructions and rejections and um, discouragements. But um, I can tell you that if you uh, have a business brochure that you can show to someone and say, oh, this is what I have, this is what the business is about, I had the wrong ideas before I came here, now I have a better understanding, you know, you can share the business brochure with people and that reduces objections. Right, so at this juncture, I would like to say thank you for paying rapt attention to this training. Um, keep your heads up for um, subsequent trainings where we'll go even more in depth into how to present the opportunity to people, how to retail products effectively, some tips on how to be successful, how to be a good leader, and you know, we'll be doing a lot of stuff on this group. So at this point, I want to wish you great success in your, endeavor, in your endeavors in forever living. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.